I learned in the preface to the new edition that the image on the cover of Ain't I a Woman is a photograph of Rosa Bell, the author's mother, who encouraged her and her sisters to break free of the patriarchy. Her smiling face seems like such a good choice for this groundbreaking work on Black women and feminism. Welcome to Book Talks, a series of videos brought to you by Westlope Library to help you discover your next read. I'm Taya Hart, and I'm here to suggest Ain't I a Woman, Black Women and Feminism by Bell Hooks. You can find this item in the WCCLS Digital Library. I'm looking at the ebook I have checked out in Libby. You can find the ebook and audiobook in the library catalog. They're both on a new list that I created in the library catalog that will connect you to books by and information about Bell Hooks available through WCCLS member libraries and beyond. The link is in the description for this video. In the introduction to Ain't I a Woman, Bell Hooks describes this book as an examination of the impact of sexism on the Black woman during slavery, the devaluation of Black womanhood, Black male sexism, racism within the recent feminist movement, and the Black woman's involvement with feminism. These topics roughly correspond to the five chapters of this book. Published 30 years ago in 1981, when Bell Hooks was 29 years old, this book is impassioned, persuasive, clear, scholarly, and accessible. I read the ebook version and highlighted extensively via the Libby app. Let me take you let me take a moment to show you how to navigate highlighting. I'll also include a link in the video description with more information about how to highlight and take notes on library ebooks. One important thing to know is that bookmarks, notes, and highlights are saved in the book under the bookmarks and notes icon. Well, let me show you how to find that. So if I click to bring up the menu, the bookmarks and notes icon is here in the upper right. If I click on that, it'll bring up this menu. And, and so these are saved in the book under this icon and they reappear there if you borrow the book again. So they're never lost, even if you have to return the book. Um, and how to navigate these, you, you see you can scroll through and see highlights that you've made. Um, I found this book really interesting. So I added lots and lots and lots of highlights and notes. Um, I was gonna show you one, one paragraph that I've highlighted here. So uh, without a doubt, the false sense of power Black women are encouraged to feel allows us to think that we are not in need of social movements, like a women's movement, that would liberate us from sexist oppression. The sad irony is, of course, that Black women are often most victimized by the very sexism we refuse to collectively identify as an oppressive force. I see the echoes of this book in many other books I've read recently. These ideas have had a big impact on women's studies, sociology, and culture in the United States and beyond. This own voices work of feminist theory is essential reading. Don't forget to check out the list in the catalog, Bell Hooks and Inclusive Feminist Theory. I'll show you that list quickly now. So you can see um, some articles about bell hooks and then lots, lots of books that we have that are in the WCCLS library catalog. Um, this great canopy video that is mostly an interview with bell hooks, I definitely recommend. Um, but uh, Ain't I a Woman, the ebook and audiobook are up here at the top. And uh, the link to this list is in the description for this video. I hope you'll check out Ain't I a Woman if this sounds like the read for you.